In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this footer on web and on mobile inside of WordPress uh, with Elementor Pro. So I had a few people asking me about the footer that I have on my personal website, uh, renodeboer.com, which is my portfolio website. If you haven't seen it yet, this is the website. Why is my video not out oh, there? It is okay. Um, so I have a footer on this website. It's very easy footer, um, and that's a great footer to begin with. If you've never created a footer on WordPress, then I will show you how to create this, and this automatically appears on all pages. Um, so if you go to another page, the portfolio page, for example, and you scroll down, you can see the same footer and I've only created this once. I've not pasted this on all the pages. And this is of course what you want because this website is getting bigger and bigger. There are also uh, pages behind all of these portfolio items. And with the free version of Elementor, then you need to paste it. Uh, beneath every page and that is just a horrible experience if you want to change something in the future because then you need to go into all those pages so with the technique that i'm going to show you you can create a footer like this that you can put on a mobile or on a web and even a footer like this that i made for a client a double footer with uh, two sections like this so i will also show you quickly how this is made so I'm making this video because some of you have been asking about my footer. Uh, like Nils, how did you create the footer for your website? Uh, do you need Elementor Pro? Uh, yes, you need Elementor Pro. I mean, you can do it with the free version, but then you need to paste it on every page. And then if you want to make a change in the future, that's just not a nice experience. And also Levin, he asks, hey, I'm, I've become a fan of WordPress because of your videos. One question, did you create the footer in the menu inside of Elementor or did you use the team uh, in WordPress? And what do you recommend? Well, I recommend that you use Elementor Pro. You can choose one of those versions. If it's just your first website with Elementor Pro, you can try this one. And if you're gonna buy Elementor Pro and you really see the value in it, uh, please use my link. I mean, I make these free videos. Uh, on YouTube and this is how you can help the channel so if you're gonna buy Elementor Pro uh, you can click the link in the description if you want to support the channel all right so let's just dive into it I'm gonna log into my website and I'm gonna show you how I did it so now I'm logged into WordPress and here on the left you have this tab over here that's called templates and if you then go to the team builder which is a pro feature you can, if you zoom out, because my screen is too small, um, yeah, like this, you can create a different parts of your team inside of Elementor. So your team is just running in the background and you're just using Elementor uh, to kind of override the teams. It's not really overriding, but it's replacing the normal team settings. So if you want to create a footer like that, you just go to footer, then you can see my footer. And I will first show you what's inside of my footer. So what I essentially just did is I created just one big section with five columns. And those are just headings because on a heading you can put a link. So let's just create this header now together so you know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm not going to do that in this file. I will start from scratch. So we're going to the team builder and I'm going to click on add new, select the footer option uh, because then you can replace all the footers on your website. And then now I'm going to do um, V2 video tutorial uh, because it's just for the video. Okay, so if you have Elementor Pro, you can choose uh, out of all these free footer templates, which are actually pretty cool. So for example, let's preview this one. If you just click on the magnifier, you can just insert this footer with one click and then you only need to link those things, replace the logo and connect this form. Uh, and then you have a cool footer or something even like this. That's a pretty big footer with social media and all kinds of links. You just can import them with one click. So that is really cool. But I, as you guys know, I like to design things myself. Uh, so for my website, I created this header, uh, footer, sorry. Okay, so let's just get started. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on a main section and then I wanna give it some padding on the inside. So I just went over here and added, I don't know, maybe 60 to the bottom and 60 to the top. Give it some height, then add 
add a background color. So you just add a background color like this. Boom, there you go. Maybe even this darker color. And then what I did, I inserted uh, a heading text. So I inserted the heading text, put in a text. I made the text white. Made it even smaller, so maybe make it an H4, something like this. And now it's a bold one. Right? So now I have one column with one text, and that's it. Uh, and before I start duplicating the columns, you want to think about your responsiveness. Um, because on the responsive page, like here, you can see that all the columns have 100% width. And in that way, all the items will be stacked upon each other. And that is what you want in a footer on mobile. So before you start duplicating, just make sure that your column on mobile is 100% width. And the text, as you can see right here, is aligned in the middle. But then only on mobile, like you can see. Boom. And now if I start duplicating, you're going to see that we have a layout like this. So I'm going to go back to desktop mode. And I'm going to duplicate this thing like five times or four times actually. Boom, four times. Those two, I want them to be right aligned because that looks a little bit nicer. And then for this one, I just replace this one with a logo. And I don't use the side logo option uh, because then you have to go back into the WordPress settings. And I just like to be to stay inside of Elementor. So I just grab an image, select the image that I want. So I just have a white version of my logo right here, a very small one as you can see. So it will stay very fast. And boom, there's my logo. Go to style, go to pixels, make, a, make it a little smaller, delete this layer. And now we're almost done. Uh, the text, as you can see, is uh, not middle aligned. So that's what I forgot to do before I started duplicating. But that's not a big problem. You could just go to vertical alignment, middle, as you can see, and then copy this and paste it on all the other layers. All right, and now if we go back to mobile mode, it almost looks perfect. So this is uh, almost everything that I did. And also on the tablet, as you can see, the width is 100%. So now all you need to do is just change the text. So for example, just put an email in here. And by the way, if you wanna make your email a link, you just put the email in here at the link and you type mail to and then I've just put Instagram and LinkedIn over there and that's all I did. So now here's the trick with Elementor Pro. You can click on publish and if you click on publish it will give you an option uh, where do you want to display your template. Here you can set up your conditions and this is where the, the power of Elementor Pro comes in. Uh, because you can say I want this footer to be at the bottom of the whole website right or maybe you just want a special footer only for your portfolio items or on your blog post for example or maybe just this footer on the front page and then i want another footer on the other pages so you can uh, for example create two different footers and then give them different conditions here in the settings and now if you click save this footer will be on all pages like i did on my website but this is how I did it. And now I'm going to show you how I did this footer, which is a little bit more complicated. So let's just go to that website. And by the way, this is a real project. So this is actually an, a footer that I'm using right now on that website. We'll open the navigator so we can see what's going on. Uh, there are two sections. One, this is the one big black section and this is the smaller green one. And inside the smaller green one, there are just two columns, the left column and the right column. In the right column, there is just the social icon widget, which you can just find over here. If you type social, there it is. And on the left here, this, this is just a, a heading text. And then in this black box, we have four columns. So I just created one column. There is a image in here, a little text, and then these are two titles and for this part I have used the icon list so I've just created a text and then linked it to that page 
so it's just an icon list but then actually without the icons so i've just deleted the icons like this and if you guys want a full tutorial how i created this footer and now i'm just showing how how it's made uh then leave a leave a comment below uh, because this is a more complicated footer of course and i will also show you the mobile version this column is 100 percent then these two are 50 so the footer will not become too long on mobile and then this whole part is hidden on mobile so if you go to advanced and the responsive you can see that i've hidden this uh, otherwise the footer will become too long yeah but this is a more complicated footer so yeah that's actually all i did uh, if you have any more questions about creating a footer in elementor pro uh, just let me know i will create another video by the way, this is my first video with me just uh, talking inside of a microphone without the camera. And in this way, I can just create a lot more videos because I don't have to set up the lights. And I can just do this in the evening. So I'm pretty excited to make a lot more videos uh, on Live with Pixels. And then again, if you want to support the channel and you want to buy Elementor Pro, uh, then you can use the link in the description. But of course, that's up to you. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching.